You know, it's interesting, even though the uh, stakes are quite high, as it just goes out of it, that's quite annoying, but even as the stakes are quite high and uh, the drama has been ramped up considerably, Wolf Link will still do the the idle animations with slightly dead Midna on his back. It looks so weird. It's such a weird thing to do when you have someone who is very close to death. Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. My name is Rabbit Luigi, and in the last episode we finished up the Lake Bed Temple, we, uh, w we fought the boss of the Lake Bed Temple, and we, uh, you know, we got the last few shadow. Zant turned up. Uh, he he took them away, or destroyed them, or did something like that. And he turned Minna into a kind of a, 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 a opaque, opaque person. Uh, in in the world of the light, we are now a uh, wolf in the world of the light. It's very confusing. We got some weird things stuck in our head. Now this is good. I like this. This is a high octane, very sad moment. It would be so much better. It would be like three times better at least if the music stayed when you fought the enemies. I I can't be the only one who thinks that. That this would be absolutely incredible, like a series highlight, a legitimate series highlight. If while I'm doing this, it still played the sad piano music. I mean, if you think to Majora's Mask, Majora's Mask is a great place to go for any Zelda game in comparison to other Zelda games. When the uh, like final six hours comes, that music takes precedence over, I think, every music track in the game. So, or, you know, most music tracks in the game. So, even when we go into Hy Hyrule Castle Town, it will still play Midna's Lament. Why can't it play it over the top? Oh, I've got cats following me. That's interesting. Uh, is it is it dark enough that I can sneak in here without getting uh, spotted by loads of townspeople? That would be, you know, they're not spirits anymore. They could probably still see me. I am. I am. I am. No one sees me. Everyone's gone to sleep. That's fine. We're going this way. I believe we want to go. Uh, maybe go towards this way. Yeah, there's a reason why we go this way. I feel. Because uh, we have someone saying, Beast, get out! I think that's probably Telma. She needs the funny accent, and they're going to slam the door in my face. Why? Oh, we are in trouble now. We have no salvation. You there! Who's this? This is going to be some weird cat creature. Oh, there you go. It's Telma's cat. You are you are a large cat. That's fine by me. You're a jackass, correct? I don't know. I you guess you're a woman cat. I don't know unless a, a boy cat, but dressed up in funny ribbons or something. Mm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. Oh, that's nice to know. Good that you can smell. Oh, it's Louise. I didn't even know it had a name. I'm Louise. Do you remember me? Yeah, do you remember meeting me in this shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. It's Louise the cat. In any, in any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. That's a that's a bad prejudicial way of doing it. Oh, another patient. You certainly are a curious sort. This one's not a Zora. Please. This one isn't a Zora. Not really. Princess Zelda. No, it's not a, not a Zora. It looks it's like pink. Don't know why she's pink. It's a bit weird. Um, Zant's got powerful magic, I guess. This way. Zant's got powerful magic. We're going through this. This is, uh, I do enjoy this part of the game. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a, ro a rough trip. That looked to me like rotten trip. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is to make sure the humans don't notice you. How are we going to do that? I'm not sure, but we have a uh, decent wolf balance. We have a tail. That might help, but this is a good part of the game. It would be, like, a really amazing part of the game if the music wasn't interrupted by the battle theme. I, I, it's not difficult. It's not difficult to do, and it, it seems like a massive oversight, and I wouldn't say even more so that they haven't done it for this version, but if you're going to change things, if you're going to balance things, that is something that needs changing, okay? Might just be me on that one. Okay, we are in the rafters, above Tilma's bar. Uh, we gotta be kinda sneaky. This isn't, yeah, isn't particularly difficult to, yeah. Isn't particularly difficult, because you do gravitate towards the rope like so. Can I listen in to anybody? Do I really want to? I mean, I, I kind of should, shouldn't I? Just fucking do it. How's it coming to this, huh? Master's walking in the streets of town. What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? This is a really bad idea. The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are, it's not even funny. Good old Gorons. Good, nice work, Gorons. Can I throw this down there? Have a, have a, uh, can I throw it? I'd like to throw it. Throw a pot! Oh no! They know! 
No, don't turn around. What? What, is, what was that sound? Nothing. It was nothing. I'm not doing anything suspicious up here. I believe I can listen down to this or something. Uh, I heard that an acquaintance of Telma's defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Jackass. It sounds as though he brought Telma and that young ward to, ward to Kakariko Village. Uh, and here I was thinking Haru was empty of men of valor. Uh, oh, guys, so many different voices. Oh, no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from a small neighboring province of Ordona. That is part of Hyrule, isn't it? This may sound horribly elitist, but people who do not know the city simply do not do not know fear or something. I've got to remember those voices. I'll change them. That's the, uh, the special council of special people who may come in handy in a future part of this game. I don't know. Am I spoiling things? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. This is an interesting room. This has a greater significance in the game. This is funky. Do these look different? They might do. And we also have a finish move on an enemy. Oh my, we can actually kill a thing. They look a lot different to what they looked like in the original release, or at least from my initial uh, initial view of them. We've got a, po a pose soul. There are many pose. There are uh, a lot of... What the hell is going on with you? I don't know. Oh, thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you doggy? You can try. I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat, Gangle, is frozen on my head. I, I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? If you, I think if you free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. Is that a problem, the fact that it's raining? I wonder, I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. Why is raining... Why is the rain such a massive problem? Midna is making a lot of noise. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here and f by, by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Stop calling me doggy, you weird, you weird freaky eye creature. It's, it's, the, it's for sort of the flashing eyes. They're not flashing, but they're like sort of glinting from the jewels that are in his eyes. The pose are the creatures which only appear in, in, in normal uh, circumstances as a floating lantern. They are of reasonable importance in this game. I don't really remember what you get for getting all of the pose, because I thought it was like... I thought there was more than 20 for a start, so I'm, I'm mildly confused. This is Hyrule's underground waterway, which is slightly terrifying, because there's, there's spiders and all sorts of crazy nasty stuff. I can't use my magic bee attack, by the way. I can use a spin attack. I can't use the magic hair thing, though. So it's not as good as it could be. Can I actually have this and, like, fuck you up the fire? I'd like to know if I could fuck- No, I can't attack you with the fire! Can I throw fire sticks at you? Burn, spiders! I know you're susceptible to burning. Don't- don't fight it. I know you like it. Or something, I don't know. Uh, we, we're gonna need this. This is a- yeah. It's- it's an interesting part of the game. It's kind of- you do a certain thing and you do three of the certain thing, which is the, um, go to the dungeons, you do the, uh, Oh, the name of the things that the, the twilight cleansing thing and the twilight bugs you do that sort of thing I remember getting stuck here before and I, I can't remember why or indeed what I was stuck on I'm holding that stick in a very strange position because I'm trying to look at bats don't look at the bats concentrate on the fire Because uh, that's that's what you need to be concerned about right now uh, Was it this bit but I like I, I wasn't sure to go or I gotta go up there. Oh the bats are annoying the bats are annoying Okay, we'll pick this up, light this half, go over here, and try and sort out this crazy nonsense! You know, Zance is a... I, I do like the occasional moments in games where the villain showcases exactly why you should fear them. There's there's definitely a, uh, a tendency, not a, not a particularly common tendency, but a, a slight issue with some villains in some games where they say, Oh, I'm the big bad guy, you gotta fear me, I'm your nemesis, etc, etc. But they never show why. They never show like a, a really obvious example of what the consequences are of opposing this threat, basically, and I, I appreciate when it does. We're back here, back in the crappy walk. What are oh, the enemies that I can't use? I can't use a, 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 a thing. This isn't actually where we were. Was this where we were before? Yeah, it might be. I think it is. I don't. I, is it different? How much different is it? Oh, f okay. That just outright killed me. Oh, I have no potions. I, I have no way of healing myself as a wolf, and now we're both dead. Don't worry, kids. Midna isn't dead. We have respawn powers. Oh my god! These rats here are a serious, serious problem. There we go. That is what was getting me hit. Now I'm just gonna avoid- how the hell am I gonna- no! Okay. He's gonna reload! Reload! Oh my god! They're, they are- they are quick off the draw. 
fuck you and your arrows and your crazy nonsense. You have a crossbow, which is kind of cool, but I don't like it. Oh my god. The, uh, the, the Ganondorf amiibo. <laughs> it has its moments where it's like, oh, why are we going backwards? Why are we going backwards? That's a terrible idea. Oh, and this is also a terrible idea. You're gonna- no. No. You're gonna know what I did to you. We're you just going up this way? We- oh, camera! Please, camera. Be nice. Be considerate. I'm- I'm already having to fight enemies which can kill me in one hit, and my- my checkpoint is way down there, so... Please, please just be kind of cooperative. Would be would be really helpful. Why is this a shortcut? Why is there a rope here of all places? That's uh, it's very confusing. Gonna have the beeping going for a while at least until we can turn back into a human. We have a weird thing in our head which I think means we we can turn back into a human, but not yet. But it's a special item which has maybe some importance at some point. Go in the go in this. Oh, the eh, the bulk of the bulbins. I know the bulbins. That is a Pikmin thing, I'm sure, but. The Bulbins are, like, the, the one of the most basic enemy types in this game. You see a lot of them and a lot of variations of them, but they're so terrifying! Oh my god, because uh, everything kills me. Oh, and the keys. I'm, the ke I'm just gonna go! I just wanna go! <laughs> Please let me go! Okay. Everybody's happy, everybody's calm, everybody's having a wonderful time. Oh, they're everywhere as well! Oh my god, from point blank range. I was thinking that we did- oh my- that is impossible. I was thinking that we did really well to not die. I don't think we- did we die at all in the lake bed temple? I don't think we did. Although it did like throw red potions and blue potions at us, so that is a bonus. But uh, I, I thought we did really well. I, I, I'm very happy with how we did. Oh, there's wind as well, there's wind, there's rain, there's enemies. This is a real trial to get over here. It, it, my must, it must be said, it is that everything is fighting back. We have to be very careful. What was that bird doing? I'm not sure. We, uh, everything is fighting us. Everything is against us. The whole world and everyone in it is against us, really is. I should probably at least hit you before I go up here. Just be stunned. Do something interesting down there while I do this. Okay. But yes, I thought we did really well to get through, I think, the whole of the Lake Bed Temple without dying. Because, you know, there's some tricky stuff, there's tricky parts to that. I thought we did very well. Anyway, we're safe now. Zelda's here to save us. Event somewhere. Here somewhere. God, we, how did we do this? Oh, she fell off. That's a good point to fall off. Not when we were going over that, that windy bridge. That could have been difficult. There we go. We're, we're, everything's safe. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Zelda Starlight's playing. Everything's everything's much better. This is also a checkpoint, so that's nice. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? I need some powerful magic for that. Am I ruining a cutscene again? I don't want to. This is the one you need him to save your world. That's why, Princess. Please, you must help Jackass. I am in- I am some sort of importance in this game. It's nice to know. She's got a Triforce in her hand. We know this. Didn't I just have one as, as well, just completely randomly? Not as like a, um, bit of prophecy or anything. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Very, very evil power. I was there to witness it. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. We're working on that one. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Farron. And try to sort yourself out. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages. The Master Sword. Oh, that's where we're going next! Probably. We've got some side quest things to do. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Well, isn't that an inconvenience? It's not, nothing close. Jackass, he hero sent by the goddesses. It's nothing close to me. Sorry, very annoying. Like you, I've been granted special powers by the goddesses. But explain the tattoos, you know, I, I thought someone just put it on me as a joke. Fine, Jackass, you can. You can get to the woods on your own, right? What, I need warping. I, I would need the warp. Princess, I, I have one last request. That's a long way to go. Can you tell me where to find the mirror of twilight? Then we get into something else which is gonna happen. Going down uh, different a uh, alleyways for different parts of the game. Minda, I believe you understand now just who and- I believe I understand now just who and what you are. There you go. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our steed. Stead. Stead. Stead? Stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it was you who have reaped the, uh, reaped the penalty. Mmm, words. 
No music, I appreciate Zelda's lullaby now. Now that it's gone. Except it's now midnight, I pass it to you. What's she doing? Oh. It's got some magic power. Doing some bad things. Doing some not necessarily good things. Doing some interesting things. I mean, she did have the cure. Did, did she say she had the cure? No, it was the light spirit. The light spirit was the one who had it. No, Jacket, stop him! The, the, the light spirit had the idea. He's a clever guy. Can't, fi can't fend off bad guys. But he's, he, he knows what needs to be done. Oh. Uh, things are happening very quickly. Last episode, we fought like a giant eel thing, and now Princess Zelda's gone. Midna's back to her normal self. She's not, like, pink anymore, but... Oh, things will happen very quickly. You keeping up? Everybody happy? Everybody know what's going on? Fantastic. Where are we going next? I guess we go into a forest. That's fine. We can go to forests. We go back, Jack. It's back to Farron Woods. Yes, we do. Because that's where the Master Sword is, and we need that for every Zelda game ever. Because we... I wouldn't say the series isn't tied to it, but... You know, you need it. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Some some amazing amazing magic powers, clearly. Where's this gonna put me? Are you just gonna walk me outside? That'd be very nice. That would be very nice. Okay. That's uh, that's very kind of you, game. Otherwise I'd have to I'd have to get there, and I don't wanna do that. I mean I could do that, but I I wouldn't I'd rather not. I think I know what happens now. Oh, that's that's interesting. Don't know why that happened. Is that just because Zelda's gone? Or is there more to that? There's a giant... A giant structure. A, dry, a giant, like, pyramid. Oh, is there a name for a pyramid which is top and bottom? Like a rhombus. Diamond. Not a diamond. I don't know. Crazy things are happening. This game just accelerated. Put the foot on the gas pedal! Stories. So much is happening. Was that just because Zelda left? Or is it because someone else has taken... Residence in Hyrule Castle, I don't know. Now then, we've got three minutes left, and there's virtually nothing we can do with uh, Wolf Link. There are a whole bunch of side quests we can do, but we need we can't do it as Wolf Link, because uh, there's not a lot we can do as Wolf Link. So I think instead, uh, and I said it says how many post souls. Is that just how many post souls there are in the what? Is that what is that? Is that is that where the post souls are? In which case, that's very kind of you, game. That's a new thing. I think that's what that is. That's that's I like that. Anyway, we're gonna look for the portals. We need to go to. Uh, uh, we want to go over here, I believe. Yes. I'm d I just want to check things now. Uh, I want to go like over here. Does it say anything about post souls? Have I got to find one, or are they all in here? I don't think they are. I'm I'm doing many things at the same time. I I thought there were more than 20 post souls in the whole game. I thought it was a bit like the Skull Toolers, where you do. The, the Skull Tuners in Ocarina of Time, where you do so many to save the people from their really shitty fate, and then you uh, do something. Then you get all of the rest of them for something else or bragging rights. I don't think it meant anything. Oh, it's a monkey! I don't think it meant anything to get all of them in Ocarina of Time. Don't think there was a reward for that. Okay, lots of things. This It's just gone so quickly. Things are happening crazy fast. Oh, it's good, isn't it? When you when you spend so long, I wouldn't say, oh, I died. I died again. Fantastic. When you go through the first three dungeons in the game, and I wouldn't say nothing happens, but not as much happens as the opening start of the game, and then all this story just happens. It's amazing. Did did you save me? Th thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? Something of great importance. We want one of these, yes. We're gonna hop around there very quickly. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff. All right, Jack, let's go. We're going the, the hippy hoppy jump, yeah. Imagine, imagine how hard it would be to get around natural structures like these if we didn't have this. <laughs> I can't imagine what else you'd do, like maybe have hookshot, hookshot uh, points, but again it wouldn't look natural, it'd just look like uh, an area which the game had to put in, because you have to get there, but it, it, it seems more towards the s uh, more, more towards the side of this being a game rather than this being an adventure in a way, if you know what I mean by that. I mean these, these here, this, this here looks an awful lot like a game, because it's an object which is only there to give you trouble. It looks a little bit out of place. Like, the ropes, they're a little bit weird. I, I kind of get them, but they're kind of weird at the same time. We're gonna want one of these! I forgot there was one of these here.
That's uh, that's like what is that? It's like a That was not bad for not really paying attention the first time. I what is that song? Do, 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 do. Oh, shut the fuck up. It's pretty of light. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. I got this one. It's a good song. One of my favorite from Ocarina of Time actually. Well, not my not my favorite, but of the uh of the uh, uh Ocarina Ocarina songs. This is one of my one of my favorite personally. Why can't we do Bolero of Fire? Does that turn up eventually? I really really do hope it does. Does sound good though. It does sound kind of nice. Let teachings of old pass to you. Oh, I took a swig of a drink and I've got to talk now. Take sword in hand and find me. Oh, it was cider, so I, I didn't drink a lot, but I could be coming down with a case of the tipsies. Not really. I'm. I can hold my drink better than that. Anyway, let's. Uh, where the fuck is that? Is that? Where is that? I don't know. We'll concern ourselves with that at a later date. We're gonna go through here, or go into here right now, just so we can uh, acquaint ourselves. Acquaint ourselves. Look at the look at the area. I don't know. Don't know what the right word is. We're about to end the end the episode off anyway. This is you're gonna give me a name. It's the Sacred Grove. It might as well be called the Lost Woods. This game just loves Ocarina of Time so much. And there's this. Cause is there anything we can do with this? I I don't know. What's this for? I mean, oh, I know what this is for. It looks like a, uh, a, a thing, a... That's about right. It looks like another Howling Stone, it's not. Oh, struggling with those high notes a little bit. It's a do, do, do. Not, didn't get it. Didn't reach it. It's like, huh, huh, huh. I can't really reach it. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is, <laughs> this is a not so fun part of the game. Not something I really enjoy. We're about to end the episode off. You're gonna stop doing this craziness. This is, uh, yes, this is where it becomes more like Lost Woods. Maybe I could have left that little bit for the next episode. But anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. If we don't die here, that's fantastic. This has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And in the next episode, we're going to follow that weird creature who, if you want a name, I think is called Skull Kid. Um, oh, they follow me while I'm... I can't even stop. That's fine. Uh, we're going to follow that creature and see what's up and see if it will take us to the Master Sword. And if we can turn into a human again, would be very helpful. Uh, and, and try not to die, because we can't use potions, and I don't think there are many checkpoints in this area, so that could be a severe problem. We'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Take care.